I just feel new hope and new possibilities. I like to refer to myself as a baby psychic. Haley, you can't cry after you get your spray tan. I'm gonna do a little shopping haul. I was like, they are gonna have to call an ambulance on the streets of Tribeca. You know, you reassemble, you reassembly, and you keep going. Well, it's afternoon. It's Saturday and I got dressed with this cute dress. I'll show you guys fully. I'm on my second Nespresso. I had a coaching call this morning. Then I just caught up with one of my really good friends from college who I hadn't talked to since literally last fall. It's insane how so much time has passed and I feel like time is moving so quickly and I hadn't caught up with him in forever. And I'm about to record a podcast episode with one of my best friends who lives in Denver. Her name is Kiyomi, and we're gonna be talking about emotions and how to handle them, because she is a therapist. She has a company called Awaken Until Love, so I'm just waiting for her to come on. I'm in Zencaster. <laughs> Woo! Uh, I'm gonna grab my microphone, but yeah, feeling kind of good this morning, so yay. Okay, here's the cute outfit. The lighting's, okay, there we go, there's the lighting. It's this cute halter style maxi dress. I've added this suede leather jacket because it's like 50s out, 50s and cloudy, and then these cute wedge heels. I am heading to the Nomad area to meet Heidi and Rachel. We're gonna just go to a cute cafe. Heidi and Rachel have never met, which is wild to me because they're both big parts of my life. So they're gonna meet, three of us are just gonna have a little girl time, have a little cafe, moam. And yeah, I just, um, I'm feeling much more in my power today. I realize I have not formally started this vlog, so I promise that I will, but I am feeling better today. I had a few meetings this morning and then recording the podcast with Kill Me just really helped a lot. Um, I do think the theme of this vlog, which by the way, if you're new here, thanks for being here. My name is Haley Hoffman Smith. I'm the friend who helps you bring your pipe dreams to life through manifestation and motivation. And I like to do spiritual vlogs around my life in New York City. This one is going to be all about getting back on the horse, <laughs> the proverbial horse, almost like reincarnation, resurrection, after a period of grieving, because I don't think it's so much about like getting back into your power, because I've done a lot along those lines, but I do think I want to lean on this beautiful quote from Eat, Pray, Love, where Elizabeth Gilbert says, ruin is a gift, ruin is the road to transformation. So given that I went through something and I'm still kind of going through something that's been very hard for me, the last vlog really encapsulated a lot of the messiness without obviously showing too much. This vlog, I want it to be the focus for me this week on believing in the transformation and the gift that comes out of all of it and the resurrection that comes too. So on that note, wearing like a fun spring dress, I've got full hours around me and yeah, just trusting myself, being kind to myself, but doing what I need to do to feel like I'm moving forward somewhat now that I've regained some of that strength. So anyways, let's hit the road. Let's head to a cute cafe. If I can't have you, I don't want you to have anyone. And if you don't want me, there's something wrong with them, right? Okay, I just got back from shopping with Heidi and Rachel. We did not expect to go shopping, but Rachel needed to go to Sephora, and then there was like this big sale. And then Heidi remembered that the anthropology in the Flatiron is closing out. <laughs> so they had like this huge sale, it was like 30% off everything. I'm gonna do a little shopping haul. I got a yoga mat because I feel like it'd be really fun to do like little vinyasa flows in my main room. I've been thinking I've been wanting to do that forever. And I was going to go to a yoga class with Ankita the other day. I needed a yoga mat and I didn't have one. So I feel like this will motivate me <laughs> to work out. And along those lines, I got some other good workout stuff from Anthro. We'll see what comes out first though. Um, I got this really cute, I think I'm actually going to wear it tonight, I'm going to dinner with my mama, this really cute sequin thing. Here, I'll try it on for you, even though I'm actually literally going to wear it tonight, I think. It's like the sequin duster, it's really long. I just thought it'd be cute because I always want to throw on a cardigan, and since I'm a Leo and I'm very out there, I just thought, why not? It's long, you guys can't see the full, obviously this is not the shirt to wear with it, but 
I think it looks good. I look very fabulous. We'll show you in this mirror. Yeah, wow, very, very nice. I can wear it over a dress and put a belt, so really fun. And my hair, I really need a blowout. My hair is not looking amazing. I got this super soft top. Again, I can't like, emphasize enough, like everything was on major sale. This is cute because it cinches on the side. It's one of those like comfy workout tops. It was only $20 before it was on sale. And then the sale was like 30% off. So I think this will be cute. I got new PJs. It's like a cute tie-dye PJ set. So the top, super soft. I think it'd just be good for summer and I like to be like nice and cozy at night. So love this. Again, I just feel like I'm always hitting the path by the water. Something cute to throw on. So there's this cute neon half zip sweater. Again, really lightweight for summer, just so I can put something over like a tank top. And then on the workout front, as I was teasing, I got this cute set, this little um, sports top. Cute, right? And then it comes with these rack your shorts, sports bra. I'm like, what is that called? And the brand is All Phoenix. And then it's something I can wear over that or just more casually. It's this type of top where the back is like a racer back, and then it's just this cute black top. So. Yummy, I also got, I'll put it on. They had so much on sale, I was kind of going wild. A cute little blue bracelet. You guys know I love anything that's the color blue to match my Luna blue, <laughs> my wall. There's clearly a trend going on, so. And just put that on, how cute. I also went hard at Sephora. I got a new foundation brush, always important. Sephora also, they had a sale of the actual, you know, the Sephora collection is what it's called. So I got this gloss bomb from Fenty, I favorite lip, lip gloss. I got a uh, lipstick from Becca. I'll try it on for you guys. Then the Yacht Life, I forgot I got this. Let's just try this on now. It's supposed to be a shimmer stick. Okay, so it's like a blush. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that is pretty cute. I think I went a little hard just now because I did not know how it was gonna come out. Add a fun little pinky pink. Yeah, just have a little blush. Okay, that was cute. I got this new mascara. It's called Big Ego. It's in a hot pink little container. I mean, that is hot pink if I've ever seen it. This looks like a freaking highlighter. Everything's about the brush I Swear. That's one curved brush. We love that. From Sugar, the brand Sugar. A mint brush chapstick. So that's fun. A new Fenty eyebrow pencil because my other one had just run out. And lip liner because I feel like I never have enough lip liner. So you can shop till you drop and that will help some things. It was just fun to shop for a little. I usually, I never really go on like big shopping sprees, especially for clothes since I rent all my clothes and I get tired of them. So that's why most of my clothes that I bought other than the fun sequin duster were things like loungewear, pajamas, like workout clothes, just because those are like the only things I like to buy. So when I can find a lot of good stuff and I really like it all, it's a fun shopping day, but I don't have those fun shopping days often because I'm usually not like compelled by something. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for dinner and I think I'm gonna wear the sequin thing and try on some of my new makeup. Woo! Oh my gosh, you guys, have you ever had a really good outfit idea but you can't find the right bra for it? I want to just do this the cute sequin thing with a plain white shirt, but I can't find my skin colored bra and I can't literally the only other ones I can find are like pink and gray. So the entire world is going to see my bra color. I need like an organization person to come in and completely overhaul my life. I don't know why this is a consistent problem. Okay, let me show you this gloss bomb situation because this lips lip gloss is no joke. I mean, are you, like one swipe. A one swipe wonder. Literally any color. This co current color that I'm using is lighter than the last one I had, but it's mostly about the gloss as opposed to the color. Sweet Mouth is the name. Anyways, I feel like this looks super cute. I clearly found my bra, and then I also found just like a really casual top, and then I'm doing my Spanx jeans. I'll show you in this mirror. Isn't this fun? I really like it. Um, so I'm gonna find some cute boots to go with it, but I think I'm gonna film a TikTok first because I just came up with a really good idea for a TikTok, so circle back soon. Okay, I just added these Freebird shoes. It's not a perfect match, but it's kind of cold outside, and yes, I feel like it looks really good. Woohoo! Good morning, guys. Well, I always say good morning. It's actually afternoon, Sunday afternoon, and I got a spray tan. It's developing, and then I freaking cried. I'm always like, Haley, you can't cry after you get your spray tan, but whew, I'm just kind of going through it. I was just looking at my astrological chart, and it's like verified by the planets, so whatever. But frick, are you kidding me? I really tried not to. I really tried. I'm wearing this cute top that I got yesterday, the one where it cinches, and I forgot to tell you guys this, but I am taking an intuition and healing 
healing class. So basically like a, a, a psychic meditation class. The first class was last Sunday. It was really good. Like I felt so good after, really rooted in my power. And it's every Sunday for three hours for the next, I believe, 11 weeks, including this one. It's like a 12 week program. I'm about to settle in for three hours of that, which I think will just be really good because everything is like energy. So it's learning how to work with the energies. I like to refer to myself as a baby psychic and this is definitely helping me more with those powers. <laughs> so far, it's just been about protecting your energy, running earth and cosmic energy. So things that I've already known. So I'm excited for today to like go past just the basics and, and learn more because the whole list of everything you learn in the course is actually insane. So anyways, heading into that, it's a stormy day, stormy, cloudy Sunday. Um, and I was just feeling really happy to have published last week's vlog and to just be back in somewhat of a posting schedule there. I'm getting my energy back. I'm getting my mojo back. It's going to be good. It's going to be okay. So let's meditate, baby. <laughs> I've been loving sitting in my living room lately. It's just been super nice. And I have this sage spray, smudge mist, clean slate. I'm just going to clear off the space from all of the funky vibes of the last few weeks. Transformation is in order. <laughs> they tell you in this class that you're not really supposed to take notes. Well, you can, but she was like, in fact, we're just like encouraging not to because this is an experiential class. Like your soul is taking on everything you're learning. But type A, little student over here, I am taking notes. I just like having the notes after. It's really cool. I learned so much last time. So let's see if I can find something that I learned last time that I thought was cool. A lot of energy work is showing up in neutrality and compassion for somebody. So for example, in my coaching, it's really easy as an empathetic person, if somebody is telling me something hard they're going through to take on those emotions to try to help and fix them. And because I want to relate to them on their level and make them feel supported. But if you're able to, this is what I wrote down, when I'm able to show up in neutrality slash compassion, then I'm able to hold space for someone to be in their truth. My job is not to fix them. If I fix it, they'll create it again because they have to experience it slash heal it for themselves. So cool. So the whole idea is that like, even when you are a healer, you don't heal people, you hold space for them to heal themselves, which I think is so epic in this work. So, okay, can't wait to see what I learn. Hey guys, okay, um, the class was really good. I really enjoyed it. I think the coolest thing that I learned was that when you're not grounded, like when you don't have a grounding cord between your first chakra and the center of the earth or connected, it means you're not in your body, which is so wild. Anyways, I did a little fun dream away chat on Zoom. We pulled oracle cards and it's just really wild. I've been pulling from that moonology deck right here. And the card I pulled was step out of your comfort zone, North Node, which is all about your destiny. I'm not wearing makeup. I got a spray tan and I'm like, why does my skin tone look so uneven? It's fine. I'm just keeping it real with you guys. The sun is already headed on down. It's 7:30, and I just ordered San Ambrosch. I started to crave it big time during meditation. So I got the carbonara gluten-free. I had actually ordered it from Uber Eats and I waited an hour and then it was like, you know what it says? Oh, they'll be there soon. The delivery person's approaching. Well, it said that and then it said it was canceled two seconds later. So I just, I know I double want it. I waited twice. I waited twice. So I'm going to watch. I've been watching Firefly Lane. Pretty good show. I actually really like it. Eat this and get to sleep early because I'm really feeling revved up after meditation, talking with my friends, talking with my mom and doing this dream away to really have this full week of resurrection to bring the meaning of this vlog to life. Let's do this. Hi guys. I am wearing the cutest shirt ever. I just decided part of resurrection week <laughs> slash life is to just dress up every day, even though I'm going to the chiropractor later and don't really have plans. Josh came over and gave me a straight blowout. I've been really liking the straight look since I got my hair cut. It's like the subtlest haircut, but I still think it looks good. And I just finished up two coaching calls that went so well, so well. I am just going to make myself a little bit of cold brew for my next call and I'm feeling good. I think the key is to stay busy for sure. Staying busy, but staying grounded. Like I had a really good morning of just some meditation. I probably meditated for a good like 10, 15 minutes. I'm getting really good at staying still in meditation since I've been doing these meditation classes for three freaking hours. Like you really get good at meditating. Excuse me.
excuse me, that was the ice. I also read for a while. I read You Are the Placebo. I got some work done that I've been putting off. I listened to some jazz. So things are going well. Yay! Okay, I feel like most of my parts of the vlog are filmed right here. That's okay though. I just got back from the chiropractor's office, which was so good. I have not been to the chiropractor since everything happened a few weeks ago and it was wild. Like he went to go um, put my hip back into place and it crunched. <laughs> it was really bad. It was one of those moments where he was like, he hadn't even fully you know, done what chiropractors do where they pull up your leg and like push it in or whatever. And it just already started crunching. <laughs> I was like, yes, I was out of alignment. So I feel better for sure. Potion's been really good today, but the coolest thing happened on my way back from the chiropractor. And I haven't been taking the subway often just because I've been so busy and it, I live kind of far from the subway. So it's like this long walk back. So even though it's convenient, I just haven't been doing it a lot. So I had Ubered down to the chiropractor and I was taking the subway back. And I go down into the subway station. I'm waiting for the train. I realize obviously you can go on either side to get uptown and both trains arrive at the same time. Two trains at the exact, like they literally come at the same time, stop at the same time. And I'm one of those people who starts to overthink things, especially since like I would like to affectionately refer to myself as a baby psychic. Sometimes I'm like, ooh, what train am I pulled towards? Like thinking that it was gonna play out like, ooh, I really felt called towards this train and that's the reason that this happened or whatever. And I was kind of starting to panic and overthink it because I literally didn't know. Like I was trying to feel it in my body, that sense of like, this one or that one and I was like I don't I don't know and so I'm kind of trying to walk towards the one over here and I realize that that train is packed packed I'm like COVID times y'all what's happening and the other one is basically completely empty and it suddenly becomes so obvious to me I just made a TikTok about this it was this beautiful metaphor of a lesson that when you have to make a choice and you just don't know and you can't find it in your body or however you make a decision whether it's a pro con list or whatever, like something will happen that will make it obvious to you. And I think that goes back to, to like the choice that I had to make in my life that I was, I've been healing from and resurrecting myself from was like, it was a choice that was obvious. Like there was no other way around it. There was no other way that you could look at it. Like something had tilted the scale so much that I suddenly, it didn't matter, right? If I felt like I, I should go to the other train, so to speak, like, it was where the door was opening or where the door was closing. I don't know, <laughs> the doors are now closing. Little little subway chat. The doors that are supposed to open for you will become obvious and the doors that will, are supposed to close will become obvious. And if you're in a place right now where you're trying to make a choice or if you're ever trying to make a choice, just wait till something becomes obvious. And it will, it will. There's always gonna come a, po a point where you just know what you have to do. You just know, even if in the moment you did not know originally, something will happen that will make it obvious. So that was the cute little metaphor. I was like, oh, this is good. This is really good. This was a good lesson. So I ran home to film it. Anyways, I'm heading into another coaching call and then I'm gonna go meet Alyssa all the way back down at West Village because we're gonna get dinner at Rosemary's. Just trying to stay really busy since today was one of those days I was just working all day by myself in my apartment and I just, I need to, I need to stay active. I need to. I really think that's a big part of it. So let's do this. Okay, I just finished coaching and I came out into the main room and look at the sunset. Why is it taking so long to focus? <laughs> it's like such an interesting sunset because it looks like dark storm clouds over the light. You can see the rain in the distance. And it just reminded me immediately, I actually made an Instagram story with the song, but the, the song, Every Storm Runs Out of Rain, which I believe is a quote by Maya Angelou. I don't know, it just feels so symbolic, right? Like that storm feels over it, but then it feels like it's washing out and the, I know the sun is setting, but it still feels like the light at the end of the tunnel, which is just profound in so many ways. I am heading to West Village to meet Alyssa. Hold on, look at it from right here too. When you just look right through the window, that is so gorgeous. And my little face. Heading to meet her at um, Rosemary's. I have not eaten there in forever. I actually realized that, I don't know if you guys remember this. This is my vlog from a really long time ago. It was probably like my third vlog ever. I had gone to Rosemary's for lunch with Ankita and I think I got food poisoning from there. It was just, it was from like a vegetable and a pasta. I'm just probably gonna stay away from the pasta. It's gonna be fine, but I realized that was the last time I went, so. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a trusted establishment and I can't confirm, so it's fine. <laughs> Good morning, my friends. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning and I am heading down to Tribeca since Ankita got back last night. I am gonna work at her apartment with her. I will miss my apartment, but I think it's really good to get out of the house. I'm wearing this really cute little, um, honestly, they're longer than I would have wanted, but this cute little um, overall set. I just thought it'd be fun. Very summer-esque, gonna pair it with some white sneakers and since it's so beautiful, just like get out and walk, take the subway, just have a good day of getting work done. I have just two coaching calls. I need to get some client articles done, but it's just gonna be so good to be back with my girl. I just feel new hope and new possibilities in the air. Okay, well that's my update. Bye, let's go. If you knew you was coming over, that would be a problem. If our friends knew undercover love and they would try to solve it. Okay, it has been an amazing work day. Ankh and I are gonna head to Soho. I've been needing to get new shoes because not one, but two pairs of my shoes have broken this last week and they're both summer shoes. It was like my sandals and then these cute wedges. Isn't that weird? I also worry because things happen in threes. If it happens twice, it usually happens a third time. Let me know if I'm just being super superstitious. I really feel like that means a third shoe is gonna break. We'll see. I'll, I'll obviously loop back and let you guys know if that's the truth, but we're gonna go to Sam Edelman and get shoes and then we're gonna get dinner. Yay. Hello, my friends, kicking up my feet. It has been an eventful little bit since I last filmed for the vlog. It's now Wednesday. Um, last night I went to dinner with Ankita as I told you guys and I actually almost fainted at dinner. It was insane. Everything got really fuzzy. Everything suddenly felt really far away and it was wild. So she got me home. Um, we had some tea. I slept really late this morning so I'm totally fine. I'm on the rebound but it was wild. And today I've just been getting a lot of work done. I really feel like I'm hitting my stride and work again because I filmed this long video about the power of EFT and doing it yourself. And I have not really filmed in front of the camera aside from vlogging, at least not long form content in, in months. Like not since I've been in this new apartment, which is insane because I was like, oh, I want a new room for filming. I haven't even been using it. Haley Hoffman Smith, my gosh. It is this beautiful rainy day and I'm excited because Ankita and I are actually gonna go to air baths tonight. We went for her birthday back in November. It's this gorgeous, oh my gosh, it's unreal. These baths, <laughs> it's like pools, hot tubs, whirlpools. It's really therapeutic when you're in it. And we're also getting massages. It was one of the best massages I've ever gotten. I love that Ankita calls it this, but we're it, we're making it like an abundance night. So we're getting a really good dinner uh, at this one of Wolfgang Puck's restaurants. And then we're just gonna go relax and get a massage. And I think that's exactly what I need. Just like a little, I haven't done like a spa day or any R&R &R over the past few weeks as I've been healing. So I think that will be a good even out for also all the hustling that I've been doing. So I was wearing this really cute polka dot blazer before, but I just changed into this soft furry top for a spa night. Um, and because it's cozy and raining outside, but I just want to update you guys on how wild <laughs> everything has been, but I am feeling better. I think I was honestly an anxiety attack. Uh, and that's why I almost fainted because it felt like my heart skipped several beats and we had been talking about something that was really upsetting to me and I basically been like can we change the subject we had changed the subject like we were completely on another subject my friend Liv had walked by serendipitously she had sat down she was with us and I was introducing them and so I was like oh Liv tell Ankita about this and right as I said that I like turned my head to look at Ankita and I was like Oh my god, I'm gonna pass out. It was insane. I've never passed out and I didn't, but it was a good 10 minutes of being like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was like, they are gonna have to call an ambulance on the streets of Tribeca. And I'm just so glad that it turned out fine. Um, I really am glad. Like I chugged a sprite like you guys would not believe. Good thing we live in a world that has sprite. Anyways, fun relaxing night. Let's go. <laughs> behind the scenes of getting ready for an early morning coaching call. I just noticed you can even see the camera. I have a call at 8.30, it's 8.25. I have my coffee. I actually just made coffee this morning instead of doing an espresso machine for the first time in forever. I have not, I literally don't use my coffee machine since like the week I moved in. Water, and then I've been trying to drink my green plant protein smoothie. It's gonna be a good call. I love coaching you guys, I, I love coaching. So if I can start my morning like this every morning, 
yes, yes, please and thank you. <laughs> Hi guys, okay, I I look like a raccoon ra brow version because I just got my um, brows done. This is so zoomed in. I'd always, I think like when she waxes it, it just takes off the spray tan, which is fine, but it is Thursday. I've just been getting work done all day. It's been a good, busy, busy day. Um, interestingly, I actually did a, a check-in with my teacher for my intuition and meditation class. It was just good to have like an energy check-in in general. I've been having a hard time with my grounding cord. So we worked on that a little bit. She said I'm going through a major growth period as way that she put it, which is kind of like an energetic phrase to explain this next phase of my life. And I really do feel like I am, but I also wanted to end this vlog on a positive note because I really do feel so much better and stronger, at least for now. I know that healing's not linear. In the theme of like the resurrection and all of that, like I think the core things that it comes down to are number one, re-centering yourself in what you truly love to do. Like I felt best this week when I was filming, when I was busy, right? Number two then is also just like filling your calendar filling your calendar with things that make you you, right? So it's not enough to just be like, oh yeah, I will definitely, you know, get that one creative thing done. Like put it in your calendar and then wedge it between other work things so you have to get it done because you're more likely to get something done if you have an hour to do it as opposed to five hours. <laughs> the third I'd say too is just to allow the emotions to come up and come through you. Like I don't want you guys to think that a resurrection in my definition means that you're not feeling the emotions because I've been there, you know, I've let myself cry still, but then I've tapped through it. I've done EFT and I've talked through it with friends. Actually, interestingly, I, I believe that on Tuesday, when I thought I was gonna pass out, I actually think that was a panic attack. And so I've also done like a lot of work around that and like why I was gonna, I had a panic attack because I've never had one like that. I mean, I used to have anxiety attacks when I was younger, but I've never had it where you literally think you're gonna pass out. You get like full body chills, all of that. So a lot of resurrection is just like pointing your direction into where you wanna go, right? Resurrection, we think about like coming up, rebirthing yourself. But a lot of that's just like, okay, Eye on the prize, look up, let's go. Last night in air baths, there was this optical illusion in one of the baths where it looked like from under the water that the ground underneath the water sloped up and was uphill, like as if, if I was gonna take a step forward. It's not like you're waiting in it. It comes up to probably like, yay, here on you. I saw that it looked like it was sloping up and I thought, wow, that's such a beautiful metaphor. <laughs> Could you tell I was tired in this bath, but you know, I take a step forward and it's actually not a, a slope up. The ground is even throughout the entire bath. It was just the optical illusion that made it look like you were going uphill. And so much of life is like that. Like you think it's gonna be this big uphill trudging, but it's really just one foot in front of the other. And the resurrection is just like, you keep going, you know, you reassemble, you reassembly and you keep going. I'm gonna end the vlog on that note. I have a pizza coming and then I've got a late night coaching call. I'm also excited because I did this skin Enneagram thing from my friend Sydney's um, new company. So I basically took this skin quiz to see what type of skin I have which I knew I had dry skin, but she's basically completely reconstructed the Enneagram, which by the way, I'm an Enneagram seven. Let me know what yours is to match skin. So it's skin Enneagram. So I just got my box in the mail and it's so cute. It says like type one, which is the one I am because I've got really dry skin. And then it includes all the products for that. So I'm going to try that later tonight. So looking forward to that, that'll probably be included on the next vlog because I'm going to wrap up here. But yes, sending big hugs. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you're new here and thanks for watching and enjoying this resurrection with me. Bye guys.